from the Columbus Public Library, and this is Simple Step Storytimes. And this week, reading is adventurous. If you stay tuned, you can hear a book about a grouchy ladybug. We'll sing songs about spiders, we'll go for a walk in the park and look for bugs, and we'll even create a craft about the grouchy ladybug that we read. So make sure that you stay tuned. Hello, my fellow bug lovers, and thanks for joining me today. I hope you're really excited about our adventure. I thought I'd start today's program by singing the Itsy Bitsy Spider to spin off our bug theme. Are you guys ready? Okay. Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain and the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the spout again. I think we should sing that one more time for good measure. Right, you ready? Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain and the Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the spout again. Thank you guys. Hello my fellow bug lovers and thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be reading The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. So there is a little um, tidbit in the beginning that I just wanted to explain. Aphids are very small insects. They suck the juice from leaves and then the leaves die. And ladybugs then eat the aphids. That's good for trees, shrubs, and other plants that have leaves. To the ladybugs, I have dedicated this book. Three cheers to them. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. Yummy. But then, just a grouchy ladybug came in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine. All mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across the praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? 
if you insist, said the snake right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy bug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla, and hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Uh-oh. At five o'clock, it met a whale. He's so tiny compared to the whale. Maybe he'll be big enough. And at five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale flippers, hey, you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale spin, hey, you, wanna fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave that grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy lady rug arrived right back from where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end. I hope you all enjoyed that book very much and learned a little bit about ladybugs and what they do for us. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on my bug walk today. It seems like we found some great honeybees even before we started filming. The four of them were working really, really hard to get some pollen and nectar off the coast. some great honeybees, one ladybug, and some very angry ants. So join back next time, and thank you so much.
so okay now we're gonna go ahead and make our own grouchy ladybug so ladybugs can actually come in a variety of different colors they don't only come in red they can also be yellow or orange some have spots some don't have spots but I think I'm gonna make my ladybug look like our grouchy ladybug but you're welcome to do whatever you like okay so first I'm gonna take a plain paper plate and you can use paint or you can use markers or crayons or chalk, whatever you like to color in your ladybug. I'm gonna paint or mark or use crayons. I'm gonna paint him red. <laughs> and to make our ladybug, we only need a few simple materials. So you need your paper plate. You need something to color your ladybug in. And then I am gonna use pipe cleaners. But you don't have to, you can use sticks or toothpicks or something like that to make his legs and his antennas. So his antennas are kind of like feelers and a lot of insects have them and they are right here on the top of their heads on ladybugs. In this segment, I'm just continuing to paint my ladybug shell red or whatever color you chose to paint. Um, and once he is completely red, then we can go ahead and add some other features. So I'm gonna make his head right here. I'm gonna use black for this, but you don't have to. I'm going to fill in his head. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to paint his wings in. So ladybugs have two wings. And they kind of look like an outer shell on them. And then they get around to fly around like the grouchy ladybug in our story did. careful because sometimes it's really easy to make a mess. I have seemed to already get it on my fingertips. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to make him some dots. Here's my ladybug. So now you can either draw eyes on. I'm going to use googly eyes. I'm going to give him some eyes at the base of his head. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and glue his antennas on. Ladybugs have six legs. So I'm going to give mine six legs. As I'm adding my ladybug's legs, 
I just thought I'd share a great little fact about ladybugs. Um, one ladybug can actually eat up to 5,000 insects in its lifetime, and most ladybugs have oval dome-shaped bodies with six short legs. And depending on the species of the ladybug, they can have spots or stripes or even no markings at all. I hope you enjoyed our story today, and I hope you loved our craft. And thank you so much for joining in. I can't wait to see your ladybugs. Thank you for joining Simple Steps Storytimes. You can find these books and more at your public library, so please come and see us. And remember to use Simple Steps every day. Read, write, sing, talk, and play, and your child will be on their way. Bye. The song, read, shout. We're open. Check us out.